week we are visiting our friends in Bristol. We are not going to be filming much with them because they've got a young child. Cute. However, we all have our fingers crossed that the 50 plus balloons of the Bristol Balloon Fiesta take to the sky later this weekend. Hello everyone, I'm Rob and this is Mia. We have completed our first expedition in our self-converted van called Turtle. Join us as we embark and experience the thrills and spills of life on the road as we continue our journey and adventure. well worth it. I like to go to a vantage point when you first enter the city so you can like see big landmarks and when you're then at the landmark say oh yeah we saw that. Yeah I'm the opposite to me I like to go to a vantage point once I've been placed and go yeah I've been there but you know next time. Uh, we're <laughs> now heading well we're hungry stomachs are grumbling so we're heading to Whopping, Whopping Wharf. Whopping Wharf. Let's we'll see what food we find on the way I guess. Yeah fingers crossed there's something vegan and tasty. We've been referring to it as Whopping Wharf. We think we might be wrong. Please let us know in the comments because I think we've been saying it wrong and um, sounding like noobs. <laughs> we were wandering along to our next stop after a lovely lunch in Whopping Wharf when we received a message from our friends that they were heading to the Balloon Fiesta a day early. We raced to join them and we were so glad we did. After wandering around and taking in the lively atmosphere, it was time for us to settle down, cross our fingers and hope that the weather marshals announced it was clear enough for the balloons to take flight. We waited in anticipation and then the all clear was given 
and we watched as over 60 balloons took to the air. The Balloon Fiesta was a fantastic spectacle to see and is hosted for free for the public. It is well worth a visit and we could not recommend it more. However, that is all from us this week, so we will see you on the next adventure.